What's up warriors of the Shadow Fight universe? Welcome back to another Shadow Fight Arena video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the level 10 Ironclad. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet already. Let's get 1000 likes for this video. It is all about the Ironclad, the tank of the Shadow Fight Arena. This is the talent tree and today I'm going to be checking out the high pain threshold. Stubbornness charges increase shadow defense. So let me explain how this ability works. When Ironclad has 20 charges and a full shadow energy, his defense becomes insane. So when you pick this ability, you don't need to use your shadow energy because you're going to use it for defense. Collect all those charges and then use your shadow energy for defense. I mean you don't spend it like use it against the opponent, you just leave it there. So on the left hand side we have 15 stubbornness charges, you get them by receiving hits from the opponent. As soon as I reach to 20 which is the maximum for this character with this ability, I'm not gonna use my shadow energy. The more shadow energy I have with stubbornness charges, the higher the defense for the ironclad. He becomes the tank of the arena. I still need 5 more charges to take it to 20. That defense is gonna be insane, just wait and see. Right now we are still at 16, okay. And here we go, we are at 20 with the full shadow energy. Just take a look at the shadow attack for Shanks, it's not doing a lot of damage. This is the high pain threshold ability at level 10. You don't need to spend your shadow energy, you just leave it there for defense. 20 stubbornness charges, this Shang is gonna hit the ironclad many times but he's not gonna die. This first match was just a warm up, I'm just showing how this ability works. In the next match, I'm gonna show you guys how to set this ironclad like a tank. So we are done with this one, let's jump onto the skill tree, this time we're gonna try something different. So this is the talent tree at level 10, we're gonna keep the high pain threshold. Level 2 we have the persistence. We don't care about ranged weapon. Level 4 I'm gonna switch shadow respite to berserk. At level 6 you're gonna need to use the wound bandaging because adrenaline is gonna be wasted. Once you get 20 charges you cannot have the glowing fist but your attack damage increases. Level 8 we're gonna go with the knockout. And then at level 10 we are keeping the high pain threshold for this character. Let's get into the action and see how this tank is gonna work. So right now, when he gets to 20 charges, he's gonna have an increased damage with an excellent defense. I am just not going to use my shadow energy. I will only use it if I need to kill the opponent. So if you pick the wound bandaging ability when you win the round, in the following round you're gonna get a lot of health. Let's try and take down this annoying fire guard. Jump up to dodge it. We only have one stubbornness charges. As you can see, the ironclad is taking a lot of damage. But as soon as we get to 20, which is the maximum for this character, that defense is gonna be excellent. How about that for a knockout with the glowing fist? So for every five stubbornness charges, we get a glowing fist but once we get to 20, we are gonna lose all of that. Which is why you need to pick the wound bandaging ability. Cause that's gonna give you a lot of health in the following round if you win. So I decided to pick the berserk because after 20 stubbornness charges, ironclad is gonna have an increased defense and increased attack damage. When he gets to 20 charges, he's gonna start glowing red, which means Every attack that Ironclad does is gonna do a lot of damage. So here we go, the uppercuts. We managed to dodge that shadow attack. Stubbornness charges, X14. How many of you guys use Ironclad? Comment down below. If you know how to use this guy, I don't think there is anybody who can stand on your way. The timer is running out, looks like we're gonna win this match by a timeout. So this was intentional guys. So as of right now I have 20 stubbornness charges with an increased damage. 
this next opponent is gonna feel the pain. So as you can see, my health is just half, but my defense is insane. If I had the wound bandaging ability, it would have been better. But right now I lose the uh, adrenaline glowing fist, but I have the constant red glowing on the iron clad. This means he's gonna be inflicting a lot of damage. On top of that, his defense is second to none. So this emperor is gonna get knocked out. 20 charges with increased damage. So the stampede is a very risky move. If the opponent block it, they will just throw you down. This emperor is a little bit faster. Just look at this emperor, man. He's doing so much. He's doing so many attacks, but he's not getting a lot of health back. This ironclad is not losing a lot of health. The high pain threshold is OP, man. If you know how to use the ironclad character, you should definitely equip that with adrenaline and the wound bandaging. I mean, use the wound bandaging instead of adrenaline. I think I'm gonna use my shadow attack to finish off this emperor. He doesn't wanna die. So KO emperor has left the building. Let's go on to the next match. We have a red glowing ironclad. We lost the glowing fist because we hit the maximum 20 charges. The other ability for ironclad can let you have like unlimited charges, but your defense is weak. You can still get killed very fast with the other ability. In my case, I would pick the high pain threshold and the wound bandaging with Barzuk. That's a good combination. So ironclad versus ironclad, I don't think I'm gonna make it. My health is too low and this bot is just too smart. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more Shadow Fight Arena videos like this. Let's get 1000 likes for this video. The Ironclad is one of the most dominant characters in the game, mainly because of the uninterruption interval. Usually when he corners you by the wall, you can't get out. There are a few characters that can take this Ironclad out. You're gonna need Kate if you're fighting Ironclad with the high pain threshold. Even Azuma can get the job done. So we finished that match. This is just a different match with the high pain threshold and the shadow respite. I think I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the remainder of the matches. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's get this video to 1000 likes. Until then, I'm gonna talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.